Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. if this is your first time here. I'm a freelance makeup artist based out of Michigan. I wanted to do an updated spring makeup routine with some cute girly products and glowy skin. So let's get right into it. I already put my skincare on. I use the Bioma, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, hydrating serum and moisturizing gel. I believe that's what it's called. I'm not sure I'll put pictures up here as well. So that's been sitting on my skin for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite products ever for a glowy base, whether I have makeup on or not. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This just adds a layer of moisture, slight greasiness to my face, but I need it because it'll hydrate it so well and keep it hydrated throughout the day. I like to cover my eyelashes when I do this, when I spray this on my skin because it does have, like I said, a little bit of that oiliness to it, hence the glow. And if I spray it over my eyes at all, it'll kind of weigh my lashes down and have it transfer throughout the day. Look at, even though it's dry, look at what my skin looks on my forehead. Because it's slightly greasy, okay? Like, I don't want to hear that, oh my god, this made me break out, da 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 it is slightly greasy, but that's why I love it for my dry skin. I don't feel like tight throughout the day because my skin is losing moisture. Like this keeps it sealed. Ugh, I just love it. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite face products ever. If you are one to be like, oh my God, everything feels heavy. I don't like how this looks cakey. I just need a one and done quick product, light for every day. This one, Lancome Tant Idole Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I love, love this formula. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Pro Long Wear, but that one is much thicker and this is very thin. That one is amazing too. That one is more waterproof and long wearing, but this one I think is perfect for the everyday makeup wear. So actually, you know what? We'll get to this later. I was just really excited to tell you about it because I get a lot of questions about what concealer should I get since it's the most everyday friendly type of product. Right now we're gonna go in with some contour and bronzing. One of my favorite products, and I'm gonna use the blush version as well afterwards, is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This isn't the really dark shade that I got for summer, but I use the tiniest amount on my cheeks. And because it's so dark, it acts more of a contour for me rather than a bronzer, which I like, right above my cheekbones. And because we use that Tatcha spray, it creates a little slip to my skin and makes the product blend easier. <gasps> Look at those cheekbones. And it looks extra dark on camera because I promise it looks normal in person. But like, wow. And that's what I want. Like, I don't want to look overly orange. I genuinely just want to add some color and dimension to my face. Not, not just bronzed because that's for the summer. And this is the Rose Ink number no. four brush. We're slightly bronzed, slightly contoured. Now we move on to the blush. There are so many different products out there for blush because it's such a big market that you're like, I don't know what to use. If you are a beginner in makeup and you're looking for a very easy stick slash cream product to use, I would recommend the one from Makeup by Mario. Today I wanted to show you a drugstore option. These are both from e.l.f. and I believe their pot ones are good as well. I haven't tried them personally but these ones are great. If you want something that's shimmery, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, I use the shade Rosé Usle, and or the Camel Liquid Blush. I wanna show you both of them just because I have them. I'm gonna add a little of the shimmery one right here on the top of the cheekbone and just tap it in. Now we're using the cream, blush, and bronzer first before the concealer so that we kind of gauge how much concealer we want to use. And because you see that your skin is looking quite beautifully without a lot of concealer, you'll use less and in turn, making your makeup look even more natural. So you have to remember that makeup is about color. It's not just about the amount of product that you're using. You're trying to bring life back to your skin through color and the pigment. Now we can go in with our concealer and I'm gonna use the opposite end of the brush and start tapping right underneath my eyes and focusing the color also right here by the nose bridge because I have the most darkness there. And by brightening this area here, I'm kind of tricking my eye once again into thinking that the entire area is bright, so I use this. This is a tip that I learned from Wayne Goss. He honestly has some of the best, most realistic makeup tips that are applicable for every day instead of just like trendy. 
So we'll continue to like feather this slightly over the blush. Just like that. Wipe away any of the excess bronzer or blush you have on the small side, the other side of the brush. And then just start pressing the concealer into your skin. And going always in back and forth motions and tapping motions. You want to keep it in place. And then I'm going to use my Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush and then my all-time favorite drugstore product, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. My ride or die product right here, NYX Brow Glue. Last but not least, one layer of setting spray. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. I did also go a little, a little overboard with the glow, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna use a tad bit of my Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. Hey, this is the finished look. Let me tell you what I used on my lips. Again, NYX products for lips are elite. Lips and brows, actually. I used the Strike a Rose Duck Plump Lip Gloss and the Line Loud Lip Liner in the shade Sassy. The finished look. I love it. I love it. I love it. It makes me feel so comfortable. It makes me still feel girly and glam. Perfect for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And let me know if you use any of these products or if you try them out. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.